you follow Ontario wines in any way, shape, or form, you know we had some weather problems related to Merlot. And I find it still surprising that we see Merlot on a label these days because we really had some weather-related issues in the past few winters that just did like a whole lot of killing when it came to Merlot. It was like a mass murder. And I guess only the good Merlot survived. Today we are going to be looking at the Good Earth 2016 Merlot. And as I said, the really good Merlots have survived because the ones I have been trying lately are really, really good. This one is made by Ilya Sanchuk of Leaning Post fame, and it is made using bench fruit. Uh, spends 18 months in 70% French and 30% American oak, which gives it kind of a roundness, kind of almost a sweet kind of juiciness to it, but uh, obviously gives it a different level than your usual just French oak Merlot. Beautiful ripe fruit core with blue and red fruits showing through, along with some raspberry, white pepper on the finish, it's a young wine and needs some time to round out, though, and I find that with many, many Ontario Merlots. They need about two to three years to really come into their own, to add them depth, give them some complexity, give them something worth taking to dinner. So this Good Earth 2016 Merlot, lay it down for a bit. Buy some, though. Lay it down for a bit. Start drinking around, uh, I'm going to say, 2020. That's the Good Earth 2016 Merlot. It's $34.95 and I give it four stars out of five. I'm Michael Pingus, the grape guy for MichaelPinkusWineReview.com. Join me again next week. We'll look at another great bottle of Ontario wine. You've been watching Michael Pincus Wine Review's weekly Ontario wine video review. Join me every week as I review another great wine from the most unlikely of wine regions, Ontario, Canada. To learn more, visit the website, michaelpinkuswinereview.com. There you can sign up for the bi-weekly newsletter full of views, reviews, video links, podcast updates, and so much more. You can also follow me on Facebook at Michael Pincus Wine Review or on Instagram and Twitter at The Grape Guy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next week.